Hello, grade eight, and welcome to the third unit of the second semester of this school year. So for the third unit, we are going to take natural selection and change over time. In this third unit, you are only going to have one topic composed of four lessons. So the topic is natural selection and change over time. We have four lessons, early study of evolution, natural selection, the process of evolution, evidence in the fossil records. So, no. so the key concept is relationships. We are trying to find out the relationship between the theories that started at the beginning and how did the evolutionary species evolve. The related concept is the evidence and the function. We need the evidence and the function. How did it change? So for us to make sure that the theory of evolution happened. As for the global context, we have orientation on space and time. So we have to know the space and the time that everything happened for us to know how it evolved. So the statement of inquiry is evidence regarding the function of an organism's body part is related to its adaptation and evolution. So depending on the functions and the organism's body part, there, there is a chance for it to evolve and adapt to new environments. As for the assessment criteria, we will be assessed in criterion A, which is a paper pencil exam uh, for the unit, criterion B, which is going to be for the STEAM fair, as well as criterion C, since B and C are correlated, since they are processing and evaluating the information, inquiring and designing, since we are doing that for the STEAM fair. So your A3 is mostly going to be dependent on your STEAM fair. This is why you have to make sure that you ace the STEAM fair projects. Let's start with the topic of natural selection and change over time. Lesson is early study of evolution. So we are going to get introduced to the development of the evolution theory. So how did that start? Where did that st theory start? So the first theories started by Landmark, idea and Linnaeus classification system, moving on to Charlie's rock and Mar Mary Anning's fossils that was discovered. These were the key findings that contributed to the uh, theory of evolution by Charles Darwin. So Charles Darwin contributed to the evolution theory by taking parts of the theories that were made by previous scientists. And we're going to understand what are the key findings of his theory by going through the trip he went and the research on Galapagos organisms. And the last part of the lesson will be explaining how to develop a scientific theory. The second lesson is natural selection. We will get introduced to how evolution by natural selection happens. So what is natural selection? How did it? contribute to the evolution and then we're going to differentiate between artificial and natural selection and what factors affect natural selection such as environmental change and understand the relationship between genes and natural selection so mutations happened environmental change happened so it caused organisms to adapt to new environments so that started by natural selection and it contributed to the theory of evolution the third lesson is the process of evolution. We will learn how natural selection and inherited variation influence a population. So because of natural selection and the different mutations, it caused to change in the population of a random place. And we will learn how the species interaction and its influence on evolution. So how did the species interact after they adapted to the change and how did that influence the evolution? And what are the gene flow and genetic drift of different species? And then we are going to understand how what is co-evolution. So how two species work together to get the process of natural selection and how did evolution evolve from that? 
then moving on to the fourth lesson, which is evidence in the fossil records. So ex we are going to explore how fossil records support evidence of scientific theory of evolution. How did we get the how we, did we get the evidence from the fossil records that showed us that there was actually species that evolved? And then we are going to explain how fossils show change over time. So we are going to observe different fossils and how the change of them can contribute to the theory of evolution. What are the early development of different organisms tell us about evolution? So how the organisms developed, how did it start with different body parts and how did it end? by giving us that the species evolved through the theory of evolution and and we are going to understand how failure to adapt to environmental changes can lead to species extension we're going to get involved in the part of extension and how does extension happen due to adaptations in new environments and mutations and genes how are all the lessons interconnected together for us to understand that we can view evidence of the theory of evolution through fossil records. As for the unit activities, we are going to have lab one, which is variation in a population. We are going to the lab and we're going to view variations of different populations and then adaptations of, the, of birds regarding their beaks, their wings, how did it contribute to the, how did the environment contribute to its natural selection and theory of evolution. As for the skills that are we going to be involved in this unit is communication skills and information literary skills. As usual, we will implement activities that help us in communicating. We're going to develop a website and talk about how uh, extended species should be put in a place that can help limit its extension. And as information literary skills, as usual, we are going to use our books and online resources to see how we can view different information for the theory of evolution. Thank you so much, eighth grade. Good luck in this unit. And I hope that you will actually benefit from this unit and you will learn a lot. Thank you so much, eighth grade.